This is my 2019 Ferris Zero Turn. It has about 1500 hours on it. It started having problems losing power going up hills, and today when I started it, it sounded like this. So before I show you what I actually did to fix the issue, let me show you some of the things I tried. Um, a lot of these options are cheaper as well, so if they help you, um, it might be a cheaper option to go, but you should try this stuff first. Um, so the first thing I did was replace the spark plugs, both spark plugs, and then I replaced the coils, and um, that didn't seem to work. Then um, there are some videos about adjusting the valves, the clearances of the valves, so I tried that. That didn't work though. Then there is a talk about this cable, throttle cable adjustment. So I did some throttle cable adjustment and that helped a little bit, but still didn't fix the issue. Then, then I went to the fuel lines. I blew out all the fuel lines with compressed air. And then I even thought maybe this little transfer pump was going bad. So I tried replacing that and that didn't work as well. So there was another video about checking or pressurizing the high pressure fuel pump and so we'll take this apart and we'll take a look at that here so mine already has the back cover removed so if you don't have that off you'll have to take that off first the first thing i'll do is i'll take off this clamp here for the intake Then we can take this cover off. There's four bolts, one here and two down here. It's a 12 millimeter. I'm missing one of mine, but once you get these four bolts out, this will come off. And then you got your high pressure fuel pump right here. So to remove the high pressure fuel pump, there's three bolts here, down here, and here. 10 millimeter. That'll take the fuel pump body loose. But then there's also, to help it make it a little bit easier, there's these bracket screws back in here. You take those loose. That'll make that bracket loose and it'll make it a little bit easier to work with this fuel pump. So now we got the fuel pump loose. There's three or four different connections here that we gotta take loose. The most important one and the one you need to be careful with is this, this one right here. If you just ran the mower, more than likely there's pressurized fuel right here. And the first time I took it off, it really blasted out of quite a bit of um, fuel. So you need to be careful with that when you take that one off. Let's get this fuel out of here. There we go. Then we can work on a little bit better. Um, this connector, it has a locking mechanism. You just have to push that gray piece up and it should come out. So push that gray piece up like that. Then you can push down on the connector and it should pop off. Might be a little bit hard at first, but it'll come off. This one, it's clamped, but it really just pulled off it's like a breather hose or something. <clears throat> And then, then we can get better access to this high pressure fuel line. So you can see there's two indentions that you can push on with your fingers. Um, so just push on those. And we'll take it off and take it off slowly because if it's pressurized, it will blast fuel everywhere. There we go. Okay, it's off. And the last there, you just need a pair of pliers. Need a pair of pliers. There you go. <clears throat> There's your fuel, high pressure fuel pump. 
So on one video I saw, a guy shot pressurized air through here and was able to get a blockage out. I tried that, it made mine a lot worse. So that's how I knew my high pressure fuel, fuel pump was bad. So replace this and then we'll be good to go. So here's how to put your new pressure, your new high pressure fuel pump in. Um, just go back the way you came. So put this fuel line on, push it on. Use your pliers. Just get your locking ring back on. Like that. And then your high pressure fuel line, it just pushes back on and the locking tabs just grab a hold of it. Line up and just, you just push it on there and it'll click. Once you hear it click, you're good. You maybe push on the tabs a little bit to help. That's on. Then your breather hose there just clips on, pushes on there. And your um, electrical connection, make sure you put that back on. Just pushes on till it clicks. Or mine didn't click, but it's on. And then you push that locking tab down, lock it in place. There we go. That's that. Then we slide it back in there. Back into place, sort of. A little bit difficult to do. There we go. Back in place. Start with the metal bracket first. Use the two screws to put it back on. Then there's three bolts that hold on the fuel pump itself. Then you just put your cover back on. Like I said, I'm missing one of my bottom bolts, so I just have one bolt to put in. But if you notice, there's two different sizes. There's a longer one and there's a shorter one. So make sure you put the shorter ones go on the bottom and the longer ones go up at the top. So here's my shorter one. And there you go. And hook up your air intake connection here. You're ready to fire it up.